When we're working with a coordinate plane, one of the main skills we need is to be able to plot points on it. In order to do this, we need to understand the information our ordered pair is giving us and transfer this information onto our coordinate plane. In our ordered pair, our first value is our x value. We're going to plot that x value on our horizontal x-axis. Our second value is our y value. We're going to plot that information on our vertical y-axis. The point where our x value and our y value intersect is where we can plot our point. You'll notice when we're working with an ordered pair that it's inside a set of parentheses with a comma separating them. If we're going to plot the point 3, 9, I first need to go across three places on my x-axis. Then my y value is 9, so I need to go up nine places on my y-axis. Where the two intersect, I can go ahead and make my point. So that others know what point this is, we can go ahead and label it. So I'm going to label this 3, 9, and I'm going to put it inside a set of parentheses with the comma separating the values. If I'm working with fractions, I'm going to follow the same rules. To plot 2 and a half, I'm going to have to do some estimating. The x-axis scale is all in whole numbers, so 2 and a half is going to fall midway between 2 and 3. My y value is 10, so I'm going to go up from 2 and a half, up my y-axis to 10, and plot my point. We can then go ahead and label this point 2 and a half, 10. If I'm working with decimals, the same rules are going to apply. I'm going to plot my point 1, 4.5. To do this, I'm going to go across one place on my x-axis. For my y value, we're again going to have to do some estimating since our y value scale is in whole numbers. 4 and 5 tenths is going to fall midway between 4 and 5. So I can make my point about there. We can then label it 1, 4 and 5 tenths. On our last set of points, we notice they use the same values. Our first point is 2, 8. Our second point is 8, 2. This is where we see in plotting points that order truly matters. When I go to plot the point 2, 8, I'm going to go across two places on my x-axis and then up eight places on my y-axis. This is where I can then plot the point 2, 8. On the other point, 8, 2, I'm first going to go across eight places on my x-axis and then up two places on my y-axis. When I look at these two points, I notice that even though they use the same values, 2, 8 and 8, 2 are not in the same location. When we're plotting points on a coordinate plane, it's crucial we pay attention to order. Our x-axis always comes first with our x-value. Our y-axis always comes second with our y-value. <laughs>